Hey there, welcome back to day four of the Self Love Power Shift. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Chrissy Key Rollins, and I hope that so far you've enjoyed this journey. One of the great aspects, one of the most powerful aspects about this series is that it's giving you an opportunity on a daily basis to begin the habit of giving yourself your own loving attention and to create new habits and how you interact with yourself to really prepare you for where you're going on this next level of your life in the next phase of your life. So, so far you should be setting your daily intentions, giving yourself an I love you first thing in the morning or throughout the day as you're feeling frustrated. And yesterday I talked to you about evoking the power of giving yourself compliments. So if you've been taking these steps, first of all, awesome job. And now you can see how simple it is to integrate these little concepts into your day. And I know that if you're doing this, you're already feeling the power shift start to happen. So today I want to take this idea of compliments and take it a little bit further. And let's take it out into the field and bring those compliments out to other people. Now I learned early on in my personal development path that one of the best ways to get the other person's defenses down and to open them up to connecting with you, regardless if you're standing in line at the grocery store or entering a networking event or whatever the situation is, one of the most powerful things that you can do is compliment the other person. It automatically just lets them know they have your support. And you know, as we all know, nobody likes a fake compliment. We can tell when it's insincere. So when you can pick out a sincere compliment to pay another person, not only are you setting yourself up for a deeper connection with that person, but you change the experience that you have of you, you change the experience that that person has of you, and you change the experience of what happens overall. Now that's just the basic surface level of looking at the power of handing other people compliments. Now let's take it a little bit deeper. This is something that's really, really cool about our human body and our human experience. The compliments that we give to other people, our body doesn't know the difference. It doesn't know the difference to the words that we speak out loud to other people and the words that we say to ourselves. So I know some of you are going to be like, oh, wait a second, I need to take a check on what I've been saying to other people. It's so true. Your body is so perceptive and it takes in all those vibrations that you put out into the world. And it cannot tell the difference if you're talking negatively to another person or if you're talking negatively to yourself. So when you speak positively to other people, when you seek to compliment other people, when you lead conversations and engagements with compliments, you are giving yourself that same experience. You are giving those words to your own self. And it's just one more way that you can be a super self-love ninja and work this self-love into your life in an active, practical, tangible way. So I'm going to challenge you that as you go out into the world today and as you interact, interact with other people, challenge yourself to begin each engagement with a sincere compliment and watch the power that this has, not only on yourself, how you view yourself, how you experience yourself, how you feel about yourself as you're complimenting others, but watch how it opens the other person up. And again, since your body can't tell the difference between the words that you say to other people and the words that you say to yourself, you're giving all that love out to others. Just like the I love yous. Every I love you that you send out to the world, you're sending to your own heart. And every I love you that you tell yourself, you're sending out to the entire world. So if you're super passionate like I am about supporting other people, loving other people, and making a huge impact on this world, what bigger impact can we make than giving ourselves love? compliments and everything else that we desire to receive from the world. Super powerful. Yeah. So here's something that's cool too about the power of compliments. The more ridiculous the compliment, the more effective it is. So challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to get out of your complimenting comfort zone and move beyond, I like your hair, your dress is pretty, and really get into some deep, powerful compliments to the point that you feel ridiculous that you are saying so much kindness to another person. Words cannot express the power that these ridiculous compliments have, but the more ridiculous, the more outlandish. It needs to be sincere, but really grandiose, the better. And I, again, I could sit here and try to explain it to you what that's like, but until you try it out for yourself, you'll just never really know the power that you're missing out on. Okay, what else do I have on my notes here? 
Um, yeah. So one of the things that I run into with people whenever I talk about complimenting others, what about those that are negative or that are complainers? Do we have to compliment those people too? Yes. They need it the most. When someone comes to you with a complaint, what they are really saying is, I need a compliment. When other people show up in front of us in any state of angst, they're just saying, I need your support. A lot of times we don't like what it stirs up in us and we try to move away from it. But this is self-love. This is about radically accepting all of yourself and making sure that you have the most amazing experience of yourself in the world around you as possible. So when someone brings you a complaint, you meet it with a compliment. Maybe you address the complaint, you know, afterwards, but always start it with a compliment and watch how this begins to shift things. Now let's think about taking us over into the business world. Let's think about competition between like services. There's no such thing. There's only one you. There's only one person who can bring to the world what you bring to the world. So even if somebody's bringing the same exact services that you bring to the table, they cannot do it in the way that you do, how you do it, in the words that you do, in the ways that you do, even if you went through the same training programs. I mean, believe me, I graduated massage school with a handful of other people. None of them give the same massage that I do, although we went through all the same training because it's our interpretation. It's the gift that we have to bring to the world. So if you're somebody who's really concerned about how many coaches are out there, how many healers are out there, or how many whatever it is that you do are out there, begin to see them in a complimentary way. Begin to see how you can be a compliment to the work that they're doing. How can you compliment the work that they're doing instead of looking at it through the eyes of competition or fear that there's not enough, begin to begin your business engagements whether you're networking um, and, and meeting with other business owners, or if you're out prospecting and meeting with potential clients, begin to start each engagement with a compliment. And this can even begin before you even leave your house. Get really aligned with, or excuse me, whenever you leave your house or whenever you hop online, depending on how you do your networking, right? So before you engage, go ahead and think about who is it that you're gonna be interacting at this event or in this opportunity. Begin to get in touch with some of the compliments that you can bring to the table. What are the things that you really love about this person? What makes them super spectacular? Begin your conversations in business and with potential clients from this energy. Again, when you're focused on finding a compliment for another person, you have no time, no space, no energy, no brain power to be looking at all the ways that you're not enough or that things could go wrong in the conversation. It's a simple redirection that more is more in alignment with the love that you have for yourself, that you deserve to receive from yourself, and the loving experience that you desire to have in this world. All right, I definitely want to know how this one's hitting you. What do you think about this power of compliments, and what do you think about bringing it over into your business world? Where can you weave it into your business engagements? You're already going to be complimenting yourself internally, right? Because we talked about that yesterday in day three. So now we just got to bring that verbally out into the world and start complimenting the people that are around us. I want to know how this lands for you. I want to know if you feel more loving inside your body, just even thinking about bringing this into your world and begin to pay attention how bringing those compliments out to the world gives you a different experience of you. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.